puzzle that was impossible to complete. And this is also why so many psychologists and scientists have found that the best way to create a new habit isn't by fighting your old one or depriving yourself of rewards, which is counterproductive, it's by finding new rewards, healthier rewards, and less addictive rewards, but nonetheless making sure you're still rewarding yourself along the way. It is currently 5.45 and I weirdly woke up at like 4.45 this morning wide awake which is weird because it's not like I went to bed early last night and I've also been in the habit of staying up really really late and then sleeping in I think from South Korea that's what we were doing so it's just like stayed in that routine but I randomly yeah woke up at 4.45 wide awake and I lay in bed for like 45 minutes ish I want to say trying to convince myself I could get back to sleep but then after 45 minutes I was like you know what I don't think this is gonna happen let's just get up and seize the day I thought I'll get up do my skincare and then start a new book because I didn't know how much time I was gonna get to read today and I'm really just like in the reading mood and then I looked outside and saw the most beautiful sunrise and so I was like you know what I'm gonna drive to the beach read my book on the beach for a bit watch the sunrise and then I also brought my headphones and I thought I would go for a walk afterwards as well and I have just arrived and look look at that it's really not showing up on camera as beautiful as it looks in real life it's also so quiet which is beautiful so i thought i'd just start my day in a really good way that's going to set me up for a good day today this is the book i'm about to start tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow i just finished assassin's blade last night like just before bed so i cried before bed and i don't cry much in books at all i think i've cried like once or twice and i was crying so i kind of feel like i almost have a bit of a book hangover i've also just read three books from throne of glass series like back to back so i kind of feel like i'm very in this world but this is book club book of the month and it's the 28th of september <laughs> so i really need to get a start on this book and i'm excited to start it but i think i'm just like just very much in throne of glass world so, so i really hope this is good and like transforms me into this world you know what i mean i got a bit sunburnt yesterday and i haven't been burnt in so long because i've been oh because i've been being good and being so sun safe and yesterday it was silly and i got burnt and i feel like i just look a bit crazy i am utterly obsessed with the weather right now it's like it it doesn't feel like summer summer but it's like really warming up and getting to the point of spring where it's like basically summer but just not like hectically hectically hot like i can wear shorts at like 5 a.m in the morning Whenever it gets to this time of year, I just feel this like nostalgic happy feeling and I don't know specifically what from. Part of me thinks it's maybe because in school when it started to get hot like this, it would mean that summer holidays are coming and that was like the best time of year every single year, summer holidays, because like summer holidays, Christmas, we had like six weeks break. It was always just like the happiest time and so I think now, even like, what's it been now? Oh my gosh, it's been six years since I graduated school. Well, even though it's been six years since I graduated school, I still get this, like, nostalgic feeling every single time, like, late spring, early summer of excitement for summer holidays. The sun is very much gone behind a cloud, but it still looks beautiful out there, so I'm going to go and read and go for a walk and just enjoy a little morning by myself. Excited. I really have no idea what this book is about, other than it's about gamers and then it follows like 10 years of their life or a big portion of their life or something. I don't know what this book is classed as. It says it's not a romance but it is about love. Like, is it a literary fiction? I'm not sure. Look at the bookmark in it. I bought this book in London. One of the most beautiful bookstores I've ever been to in my life. I forgot they put bookmarks in all their books. I love it. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm going to take a photo of that. <laughs> group of fives. But people, the ordinary, the decent, and basically honest, couldn't get through the day without that one indispensable bit of programming that allowed you to say one thing and mean, feel, and even do another. This book, I'm literally on page four.
home Pilates session this morning. I missed Pilates this week through my program, so I thought I'd catch up today. I've also now been doing this new program. It's the Busy Girl Level 2 program from Move With Us for six weeks, which is insane. I remember filming that I was starting it like, I mean, six weeks ago now, and that just doesn't feel like six weeks ago. Okay, I'm just gonna put you back up here because my arms are still burning. I'm feeling so good. I'm loving this program so much. I feel like it's the most consistent I've ever, ever been with a workout program because I just feel like it's so achievable. Like it's like challenging enough to the point where I feel like I'm, you know, getting fitter and stronger, but it's also achievable enough that I'm actually going to the gym and not like making excuses. I'm still getting a good mix like days like today where I could just do Pilates from home. But yeah, I'm loving the program I'm definitely definitely going to continue I will leave a link to this program if you're interested in checking it out I couldn't recommend more for one if you've got a super super tight and busy schedule and can't spend like so much time in the gym every single day or just if you're like me and do have the busier days but also just it's not a priority for me to spend over 45 minutes in the gym you can also choose how many days you want to be in the gym how many days you want to be at home I selected I think four workouts so that's three strength sessions, one Pilates, and then I'll do like my walks and runs as well. I'm just feeling really good. I've been feeling strong. I'm feeling fit. And like, I've just got a really, really good variety in my workouts because that is where I always fall short is when I do a program that's like fully strength training or fully Pilates or something like that. I just get over it and I just get bored. So this has been the perfect variety where I still feel like I'm gaining strength and following some sort of program and not walking into the gym being like, I don't know what I'm doing, but still feels like I've got a lot of freedom with the workouts that I want to be doing and just like a lot of fun. I'm going to have a shower, make some breakfast, and then I have quite a bit of work to get done this morning. So I think I just need to like smash it out or I'm going to keep putting it off. And it's like accountant tax stuff. So I've just been putting it off. So I need to just do it and just get it out of the way. So I'll keep putting it off if I don't. I've got that done, which feels so good. And now I feel like I can just do anything because I've done the harder tasks of today. I'm rewarding myself with decorating my Kindle. So excited. I've wanted to do this for so long. And I've been seeing recently heaps of things of girls being like being a teenage girl in your 20s. And I really, I really want to embrace that because being a teenage girl in your 20s is just so much fun. Doing things like having fun little sleepovers with your friends and like, I don't even know how to really describe it, but it's just like things that might seem like silly, like decorating your Kindle. I'm just embracing it. I feel like I just never want to stop having fun. Like stop enjoying the little things because I feel like so often, oh, I miss, you know, having so much fun when I was young. I envy kids because they have so much fun or I envy teenagers because they have so much fun. Like I want to just continue having so much fun in every aspect of my life. And so if that means buying stickers for my Kindle as a 24 year old woman, sign me up. Anyway, so I've currently got a boring Kindle. <laughs> so I bought a bunch of stickers and I'm so excited about them. I didn't really think too much about like what I was buying as I was buying them. I just bought ones that I thought were cute and ones that I loved. I've currently just got a pop socket on my Kindle, which is a game changer if you don't have a pop socket on your Kindle. I am going to have to ruin it though because like you can't really reuse after you've taken it off. I bought a clear case off of Amazon, a bunch of stickers and because I don't want to like commit to sticking stickers on my Kindle and then having to take them off, I want to blue tack them. Do I have blue tack? Okay, so I don't have blue tack. Um, I am just also using a knife to... Oh, that was easier than I thought. Maybe I could reuse that. Hmm, we'll see. I also did buy a new pop socket. Nice little white one. This is the one I got on Love On Tour. So it does hold a special place in my heart. Um, I think my hair needs to be up. I'm getting overstimulated. Okay. Wow. She's so plain. Okay, so I don't have blue tack. Would it be possible to just place and then put that over the top? Look, I need to go to the shops after this anyway, so I can get some blue tack if worse comes to worse. But I can at least get my placing because that is a crucial part of decorating your Kindle, if you will. <sighs> okay, so... I should show you what stickers I got. I literally feel like I'm back in grade three, like showing my friends my stickers. This is one of my favorites. Just lost some cowboy boots, as most of you know. Then I just got this sticker that just says books because it's cute and I really like the colors and I love the heart and I love books. Some cherries. <laughs> I love this one so much. This is a Harry Styles teddy bear. I love being a teenage girl. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like, it's cute anyway, but the fact that it's like Harry Styles coded just makes it even better. Grape juice blues, of course. A kiwi. Oh, gosh. I'm going to be the most indecisive person ever whilst doing this. I already know. At least I'm not sticking anything down. Like, it's not... I'm not having to commit, like, fully. A watermelon. Oh, my gosh. This is already stressing me out. Harry's house. Will be all right. <gasps> You're kidding, I love that. There's four little love hearts. I'm not going to put them all on because that would just be a lot. Um, but we have Parks, Hates, Valentine, and Hems. But the question is, who do I choose? After the great undoing, I think I just simply must go Hates. I love Julian. I love him. 
Um, okay, where is that gonna go? Maybe there? Now this is actually what it all comes down to. I need to tell myself it's not forever. Like the, this can be an interchanging thing. Oh, I already love it. See, another thing of being a teenage girl in your 20s is just embracing your inner fangirl. Like I feel like I went through a phase where I was like, it is so uncool to like, like anything too much. Recently I've just embraced being a fangirl of things. Like I am a fangirl to my heart and I actually think the best girls are. The best people are actually. Like when people just get so passionate and excited about something that like might seem silly to other people i love it i eat it up okay 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 um hmm. oh that's kind of cute no i like books up there okay oh cherries there that's cute okay that's kind of so cute i feel like i might need some little ones to fill the spaces but the, the spaces don't need to be filled oh i love it okay wait i want to show you this is what we're working with currently you can't tell me that's not cute i mean you can i don't, don't care but i just and see what happens okay that's cute unless no i'm just gonna stick with that okay no, I'm just making it worse. Ah, the more I play with it. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was so much easier than I thought. That is so cute. Wait, I'm obsessed with that. Okay, this is what the white pop socket looks like. And this is what, yeah, no, I definitely prefer the white. I hope you all agree, because that's what we're going with. See, this part's scary. Like, this is, this is committal. Like, I have to get this perfect. Like, how am I supposed to just measure the exact middle? I'm just going to go for it. Ah, I'm scared. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh no. I've just pulled out the case a little bit and one sticker fell. Oh wow, I love it with the case. It feels like sturdy. I might need to get some blue tack then. The little watermelon just went choop when I like pulled this out. I love it. Wait, I want to just quickly fix it. Oh, nice. We'll be all right. Take two. It's so easy to put on. Oh my gosh. Oh, the kiwis just fell. Wow. Just reading my silly little books with my cute Kindle. What are you gonna do about it? See, we actually never grow up. Or maybe it's just me. I love it. The colors as well. I feel like I really didn't plan them to correlate, but they kind of do. <sighs> I love it. Hi, I just have an order on the app. I am the Yes. Thank you. I love ordering on the app. Plus, this is literally free because I'm using one of my rewards. Thank you. Okay. You too. The people who work at this Starbucks are actually the sweetest people ever. Like, whoever is their boss or whoever is on customer service. I'm so impressed. I haven't had a Starbucks matcha in so long. I bought back with me some matcha from South Korea and it was so good that I literally just wanted my homemade matcha every single day. But there was only like five serves in the packet that I bought and I ran out of that in five days, of course. I'm still on the lookout for the perfect matcha powder, but I'm very excited. I also, one of the most commonly asked questions I'm getting right now is what is my Starbucks? match order. It is a grande normally, depending on how crazy I'm feeling. Grande iced green tea latte, or you can say matcha and they're like no wheat meat. On almond milk, no syrup because it does have sugar in it, but if you just get the normal, they add syrup and it's just way too sweet, I found. Extra ice, like heavy on the ice. I want it to not move. That is the perfect match order in my opinion. I also think a storm is rolling in till about like 20 minutes ago. It was literally blue, clear skies, felt like summer. Now there's some dark storm clouds up ahead. Like those are dark. It's kind of worrying. I do have clothes on the line, but I've come out obviously. I've got a few things that I would love to get slash do. I need to go to the post office. I got an urgent reminder for a parcel that I didn't know was there. I'm out of my bone broth, so I need some more of that. I would love to go book shopping. I actually haven't been book shopping in quite a while. It feels like quite a while, like definitely a few weeks. I don't want to pick up my camera and be unsafe while I'm driving, but the clouds in front of me are pitch black and I'm just driving into it. Is anyone else kind of scared right now or is it just me? What are all of these people thinking? I'm also kind of back in my non-fiction audiobook phase. I'm currently listening to The Diary of a CEO. The Diary of a CEO is a podcast and I love the podcast. Like I just love the way he interviews. So when I found out he wrote a book plus like spoke it himself, I was convinced that I had to listen to it. He interviews some of the most like amazing people in the world and so this book is I think essentially I'm probably not describing it very well but I think essentially kind of like all of the things that he's learned from interviewing hundreds of the most successful in their field people in the world common denominators that the happiest people the most successful people have all said he's kind of like reflected on them put them into his own work and created a book around it I'm up to chapter 13 and I've got four hours left of the book um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I feel like I, which I might pick up today. I want to get the physical copy because I feel like often like I'm 
I'm listening and I'm understanding what he's saying, but then I feel like I'm kind of forgetting, but I'd love to be able to like visually see it and maybe like underline it and fold over pages so I can like go back and easily kind of like reread parts that I really liked. I'm thinking I'm going to try and find that book today. I also would love to get The Eight Rules of Love by Jay Shetty. So I'd love to do the same thing, like listen to it, but then have a physical book to be able to like underline things, reference and go back to. What other books would I like to get? Oh, I'd love to get the new Knock Em Out series book. What's it called? I always get them all mixed up. Can't remember the name of the one that's just come out, but you know what I mean. It's like 2 p.m. feels like 5 p.m. It's so dark. I'd love to get A Court of Silver Flames because I've read that, but I read it on my Kindle and I have the rest of the series in physical books. I feel like I just need to complete, like complete it on my bookshelf. Like I just need the series. Like I want every other book. And it'd be rude not to. Oh my gosh, I forgot about my matcha. I always butcher the lid. Oh my gosh, I think I got it. And let's taste this. Gorgeous. I did ask for a weaker amount of matcha because it's 2 p.m. and I didn't want to have like a full strength. Even though matcha doesn't have as much caffeine as coffee, I still just didn't want to risk having like a bunch of caffeine like after 2 p.m. Normally it's that little bit like darker and a bit like richer in flavor, which I like, but it's still delicious. And I needed a little fun beverage while I run my little errands, which aren't really errands. They're just like little things that I'm doing. Everything is made more fun with the beverage. And that's not a fact that I'm going to argue with. Also actually want to go to Cotton On because I've seen that they have a long white maxi skirt. A long white maxi skirt? Just a maxi skirt. And I'm after like the perfect white maxi skirt for summer. I've seen quite a bit of them come in in like the rest of the world summer because <laughs> obviously Australia's, Australia's seasons are opposite to the rest of the world. I feel like I always like get a lot of inspiration for summer fashion from the rest of the world who have just gone through summer and I saw so many people wearing long white skirts and I think they are beautiful with a cute little top. I saw one in cotton on the other day just on a mannequin. A mannequin? On a mannequin and I want to go in and try it on to see if like fits nice because I feel like I, I'm going to be picky with it. I also want to pick up which I haven't actually mentioned this vlog but Instagram has this new feature. I actually don't know how new it is. It's new to me. Having your own channel and it's basically where people can start channels and then it's almost like a little group chat that you have with everyone. However, and I don't love this. I'm the only one that can like type in there. Anyone who joins can react and like if you do a poll, people can vote and stuff but I really hope Instagram brings out a feature where people can like reply because that would be so much more fun. But basically, I've decided to start a little book club for us if you'd be interested. It's just called Soph's Book Club. Basically, it's just a fun little group chat but more so focused on books. So far, I've just chatted about the book that I was reading and then towards the end of the month, I'll post a poll of a few different books and then whichever wins will be the next month's book of the month that we can all read at the same time. So I posted it yesterday and then this book will be for October, um, which is also just quietly, how is it the end of the year? Anytime after August is almost Christmas. The lighting has gone so bad because it's so dark and now it's raining. Anyway, the books that I popped in to vote, Powerless, Flawless, and Once Upon a Broken Heart. Powerless outranked everything by a mile. It's like just been 24 hours and Powerless, Powerless was a clear winner. So Powerless by... Lauren Roberts is going to be our first book month book. George and Rachel both just recently read Powerless and both raved about it and they've completely convinced me that I need to read it. So yeah, if you want to join the little book club, you can just click Soap's Book Club and then you can see everything we've chatted about. The poll. Look at this. Oh my god. I've really done myself dirty here. I should have just gone in before. I'm going to get soaked if I try and go now. It's literally 20 minutes later. It's still raining. It's not as heavy though, so I feel like I'm gonna make the run for it soon. Can you do that thunder? Oh, I'm so excited for a cozy little bookshop. And go home with my new books. Okay, the rain is really lightening up. This is my time. I just was. I found every single book I was looking for. I did have to go to three bookstores, but we got them. I'm also thinking I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from bettering myself with 
self-help books and listen to some music because I haven't listened to music in a while. You know when you haven't listened for a while and you're like, oh, I could really go for some music. Rude, I'm in. I just need to go to the post office and then I can go home and have a rainy, cozy night into myself. And I couldn't be more excited. This weather is perfect to snuggle up on the couch with a hot drink and read. This is honestly kind of my ideal weather where it's sunny in the morning. For most of the day, it's like warm and sunny. And then we have a little storm slash rain shower in the afternoon to make it feel cozy. I really feel like that's the best of both worlds. Why the hell didn't you call me on Spotify and the second song in this playlist is my quiet music for reading this is it so whenever you see me with headphones on reading this is what I'm listening to it's very relaxing oh my gosh this is another one my third most listened to okay here we go I think this is my favorite Olivia Rodrigo song. Called you on the phone today. Somehow I still struck a nerve. Will you walk me to the door or send me home crying? That song is Magnolia and BJ, if I ever did hear one. Rach, George Lang, and I made a playlist that is like BJ Magnolia. I'll link it in the description box because it is heartbreaking in the best way. When you want those songs that like take. Oh! <laughs> Those songs that like tear you apart. This is the playlist for you. Like break my heart again. This song was written for them. Why else would you ignore me? Oh. Don't go ahead and break my heart again. I need to go. I've got 15 minutes until the post office closes, so I'm gonna run in and see what this pass looks. I'm back in my spot, sitting by my couch, and I couldn't be happier. Um, I may or may not have gone a bit feral whilst book shopping today. <sighs> But I'm so excited! I also just blue tacked my stickers. I don't think it's perfect, but you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. And I do love the choices that I've gone for, but I think it could be improved. I've also been watching Gilmore Girls. I recently have been alternating Gilmore Girls and Gossip Girl, and I'm almost to the end of both series. And I know I'm just gonna feel lost when I finish both of them. I'm also a Logan girl till I die. I would love to know which boyfriend you prefer in Gilmore Girls. Please comment below, please let me know. I understand if you're a, not a Dean. I mean, like, each throne. I understand if you're a Jess. I do. But Logan just, he's something else. He is something else. I, I thought I'd give you a book haul. I also did grab, this is just at the top of the bag, so I'm going to show you. I grabbed this tea, which I just had one. It is Nighttime Berry Sweet Dreams with berries, echinacea, and chamomile. And it was delicious. I also got a stock up of my favorite bone broth ever. This is the bone broth. If you're wanting to get into bone broth, this is the brand and this is the flavor. Um, where do I start? I realized I never actually finished my thought in the car when it started to get really, really rainy. I was saying that I started that little book club on Instagram and that our first official month of doing the book club will be October. Powerless was the clear winner of the three choices that I put in. And I decided as a little bit of like a fun thing, and I think I'd love to do this every month. I want to give away three copies of Powerless to two, three of you in the book club. I popped a message in the group chat and just said react to this message with a fun emoji and then I'll just randomly select three people and then I'll DM you and get your address and everything and then send you the book. I won't choose until after this video has gone live maybe like the first 24 hours so if you do want to go and join the book club and then react to that message and you could potentially win a palace book. I could only find two. They're so hard to find. I went to three different bookstores and, and then the one that I found them in only had two so I'm going to have to try and find the third one somewhere else. But I just thought it would be so fun. I'll write a little message and pop it in the book and it's just like a fun little thing to, to do every month for book club. Anyway, the books that I got. Firstly, as I was saying, I got both of the books I was talking about. Wow, they were both... Oh, this one was on sale. The two nonfiction books that I was talking to you about, the one that I've been currently listening to, and then also The Eight Rules of Love by Jay Shetty. Very happy I found both of those. I'm excited to go back. Oh, huge writing. Oh my gosh. And pictures. Gorgeous for someone who is a visual learner. So yeah, I kind of want to go back and just like, almost like skim it and underline parts that I remember hearing. And then I also got this, which I'm very excited about because I listened to the podcast interview that Jay Shetty did with... Stephen Bartlett and he kind of like gave a little bit of a 
little bit of a teaser about like what the book's about and I found it really, really interesting. So I'm excited to read both of those. I also bought Daisy Hates the Great Undoing for Georgia because this book has been impossible to find in bookstores for months. My Dimmicks had one in stock and so I texted the group chat and I was like, does anyone need Daisy Hates the Great Undoing? Georgia was like, me. I was like, say less, it's coming with me. So that's for her. This book is one of the best books I've ever read in my entire life. I found Things We Left Behind. Huge book. I'm scared. If you don't know, this is the third book in the Knock Em Out series. I loved the first book. The first book was like a very clear, no doubt about it, five star read for me. The second book was like a three and a half. I didn't love it as much. I'm just very excited to hear about the characters in this book. So we do already know a bit about them from previous books, but not a lot. You really get like little, little teasers. I also actually got, because it was on sale in Big W, The Summer I Turned Pretty, the first book, the TV series cover, just because I think it's so cute. Like look at that and i have already read the summer i turned pretty series but i just thought i would love this on my bookshelf especially the first book is a book that i'll reread around summertime it's just such a good summer read so i kind of just wanted to have the physical book <laughs> we've got a few here i said this earlier but i got a court of silver flames it's also crazy because i read this on my kindle and i just really like it took me a while to read but i really when you see it like this you're like that's that's a lot of pages to read it feels like such an accomplishment being like yeah i've read this book and last but not least um, that's it. Bearing in mind three of these books aren't actually mine. It was a great day for book shopping. I'm going to head up to bed. I'm going to snuggle in bed with tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I've read like four chapters so far. So I'm excited to curl up and get a bit more of a decent chunk. I want to try and just like get to bed quite early and do quite a bit of reading tonight. I'm actually enjoying it so far. I am loving the writing style. Like I feel like the parts where we're like learning about gaming and like the games is interesting because of how it's written. I'm enjoying the characters so far. I'm intrigued to see, but I posted it on my Instagram story this morning being like, this is my new book that I'm starting. And so many of you replied being like, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite books I've ever read. Like I read this book so quickly. So I'm very excited to get more into it and I really hope I love it. My camera battery is literally just started flashing. So this has worked very, very well for me. I'm gonna pop this on charge and have to bed. Mm -hmm.